Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be wrapping up October because we've reached the end of October and it's really crazy and I know I keep saying this but it is. Um, so yes, here are all the books that I've read in October. Also I must say that I think I'll stop doing TBR videos because I don't really stick to them that much and I feel like I just keep talking about the same books over and over again. So I think I'll just stick to wrap ups and leave the TBR videos. Who knows, this might change in like two months, but for now, I think I'm going to leave the TBR videos. So, there's two books that I started reading but I haven't finished. Well, I started reading this in September, uh, Swallows and Amazons by Arthur Ransom. I have gotten about just over halfway through. I do want to finish this um, at some point, but since we've already covered this in my children's literature module this isn't really high on my priority list anymore because I don't think I'll write an essay on this in February no in January I don't think I'll write on this I also started reading Philip Pullman's The Subtle Knife I got about ooh, a third of the way in with this I'm on page what page am I on 119 I, I'm really liking this so far but I feel like I'm finding with his books that I don't really feel myself drawn to read them. I mean, when I actually read them, I like them. But to get to that point takes a bit of effort, I find. So now for the books that I actually did read and finish. First off is, fuck, I'm in my 20s by Emma Koenig. Uh, I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. I got this book at a book swap in September and I probably would not have paid seven pounds for this because I just don't feel like it's worth that much money. Uh, but it, basically it's a little book that is Emma chronicling in doodles what it's like to be in your 20s and it's quite fun, it's quite interesting but as I said, I wouldn't pay seven pounds for this I kept this in the bathroom and just read it whenever I went to the toilet because it seems like the kind of book for that which doesn't mean it's bad it's not worth seven pounds and then I read Howl's Moving Castle by J Diana Wynne-Jones I actually made a review of this, I'll link it somewhere. And I really really like this, I I haven't read any Di Diana Wynne Jones before, I, although I do have the Dow Mark Quartet at home, I just haven't read it yet. But I really really like this. I was reading Arthur Ransom's Swallows and Amazon and I was like I don't want to read this anymore but I want to read something different but I should read something that is for uni so that at least I can be productive. So I read Howl's Moving Castle, which we're not doing for another few weeks, but I really, really love this, and, and I'm excited about um, getting to discuss this at uni, because I think that will be very fun and interesting. Then I read A Thousand Nights by E.K. Johnson on my Kobo. I did a review of it on my blog, and basically it's about this Middle Eastern country, I think, and there's a king named Lo Malkin, and every so often he goes out and finds a new bride and that same night or a few nights after that bride gets killed by him and no one knows why and then at one point he comes to the protagonist's village and she knows that his sister is the most beautiful there and she decides to basically push herself onto this king and make her choose him, make him choose her and so she gets taken to the king's castle, but she doesn't get killed. So as I said, I wrote a review of it on my blog and I'll link that below and you should check it out. I really liked it, actually. I didn't really know what to expect, but the prose is really, really great. Well done, E.K. Johnson, for writing such beautiful prose. And I'm very curious to see what else she writes. I think she's got a book coming out called Exit Pursued by a Bear, which is taken from Shakespeare's... A Winter's Tale, I think, uh, which I haven't read, but just because she uses that title, I'm intrigued. <laughs> and the last book I read in October is Landline by Rainbow Rowell. I really wanted to read something fun and non-uni related, and I've had this, well, for a month, I'd say. And I really wanted to read it, so I read it, and I really enjoyed it. And I will be filming a review of this as well, so that should be up within... I don't actually know when it's going to go up because I made a whole schedule and I don't think this is for another while but keep your eyes out for the review of Lantline because it will be coming so if you'd like to see that 
subscribe. Oh, smooth. <laughs> I never really ask that, do I? No. But I'm currently on 69 subscribers, so one more and I've got 70. Uh -huh. So yes, I don't really like this. I really like Rainbow Owl in general. I almost forgot, but I also read <laughs> Little Mouse's Big Book of Fears by Emily Gravett, which is a picture book. It is different from what I thought it was going to be. It's presented as though it's a book in which you can chronicle your fears and write about them and why you're scared. But instead of allowing the reader to do that, Little Mouse is already doing that. But I feel like if you were to have a child reading this, they could still add their own fears. So there's like arachnophobia, entomophobia, teratophobia, clinophobia, and loads of different things. And then, for example, here is eichmophobia, which is fear of knives. And then there's loads of uh, info about this mouse, three mouse act that was going to perform. But then here is a farmer's wife who's, who's cut off uh, the tails of three different mice, uh, which is why Little Mouse is afraid of knives. It's very sweet. And at first, uh, my flatmate and I were thinking that maybe it was a bit um, strange to have a child read this because it might just make them aware of all the things they could be afraid of. But at the end, it does say, this is to certify that filling your name was very brave about filling the fear, um, which is a very nice touch and quite cute. And those are all the books that I've read in October. I hope you enjoyed hearing more about them. Let me know what you've read in October in the comments down below and I will see you again very soon. Bye!